Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, if you watched yesterday's pour, you'll know I did a swipe in blues and gold with a white swipe. Um, I wasn't that happy with the cells, they were a bit big, sort of overstretched. So I'm going to do it again today. I'm going to put less silicone in and I'm not going to torch. Well, maybe a bit. I'll try not to. So, I'm using Floetrol, three parts Floetrol to one part paint. The paint I'm using is my usual global impasto. It's quite a thick paint. If you're not in Australia and you can't get global, uh, if you can get Liquitex Basics, it's a similar consistency to that. Quite a thick, creamy paint. You can sort of scoop it out with a spoon. So three parts flow troll, one part paint. When it comes to metallics, you always need to make your metallics a little bit thicker. As you can see, this is still really quite runny. That's two parts flow troll and one part paint. So I measure everything in here. In all the colours, I've got 45 grams of flow troll to 15 grams of paint, three to one. I'm going to add only one drop of coconut milk hair serum to the paints today. Yesterday I did two. I'm going to try with just one. It's quite strong. This is a, a push bot bottle. It's difficult to get one drop out of, so I've popped it into this little squeezy bottle. It's much easier just to get one drop out. So one drop only in each colour. It's quite thick, so it's sort of you get a drop and then it runs a bit, so you probably get more than a drop. Not, don't put any in the white. For my swiper, I'm using a piece of plastic. It's a document holder, A3 document holder that I've cut the back out of. So I've got two, the front and the back, and just cut the top off. It's a nice weight to use. Now with these, stir once or twice, that's all you need to do, go around once. The more you stir your silicone or hair oil, the more it breaks up into the paint, disperses, and the more likely you are to get the tiny little cells. Most people want big cells these days. Okay, so. I do like the vertical line, so I'm going to do that again. I was debating whether to do the horizontal lines, but back to vertical. Leaving a, a bar there at the top for the white to go on to later. Blue is global cool blue. This is turquoise and white. So I'm going to put that on top, a little bit on top. I like the colours to mix. That way, when you get your cells, you get a blue circle with a little bit of aqua in it. The oil brings the colours to the surface. And as it comes up, it brings the colours through to the top. So it's nice to get a combination of both colours. This dark blue, it's called Deep Space. It was one of the limited colours. You can't buy it anymore. I make my own with cool blue and a touch of black. So you're basically making a navy blue. This colour works really well with white. White against dark colours are always going to give you the best cells. The darker colours tend to be more dense and um, you need a dense colour with a, a lighter colour 
also helps you create cells. So I really like this colour. It's one of my favourites. I use it a lot. I was so disappointed when they decided they weren't going to make it anymore. So I thought, well, I have to make my own. Now, the, yesterday's pour, I didn't add any green, but I think I'm just going to try this. It's a bluey green that I've just mixed up myself. I'll just put a little bit in because I'm not sure what it's going to do. I don't want too much of it in case I don't like it. But this is just a practice pour. This blue is cobalt blue, again from Global. Again, trying to layer my colours, get them mixed in a little bit. Thanks for interesting cells. And I like to use a metallic in my swipes. The metallics work a little bit differently to normal colours. They extend cells, they make cells bigger. So I'm just going to add a little bit to it. And so wherever the gold touches those other colours, we will get bigger cells happening. So now I'm just going to hang on to the corners of my cardboard so I don't lose the whole thing. Just going to tilt to cover, make sure all our little gaps are covered. And there's a lot of paint on here as well. I don't need all this paint, so I'll just tip a little bit off as we're covering this card. As we're waiting for the cells to come up later, I'll talk a bit about this card that I'm using. Here we go, all covered. Now, our white white global as well. Uh, the white is also three to one, three parts flow troll, one part paint. And then I just gave it a little extra splash of flow troll because whites and blacks tend to thicken up really quickly when they're sitting there. And I didn't want it too thick, so just an extra splash of Control. All right. You see a couple of cells coming up already where the paints have moved into each other. As they do that, they rub against each other and they cause a reaction, cause the um, cells to appear. The heavy paints go to the bottom, light paints come to the top, and you have cells. I'm just going to pop that there, not right at the top because I don't want to make the top of the card bald. And I'm not putting any pressure on the plastic. All I'm doing is just dragging it. And the good thing about this plastic is you can just wipe it clean like that. Get a bit of a wipe with my cloth. It didn't quite cover the corners. These little paint swatches are really handy to do your edges. Missed that little bit but I don't want to swipe over it again because it's going to change the overall look. If I swiped on that again, I'd drag more white down, make it thinner, the blue would show up, um, then I'd have this different colour. So I'm just going to leave it. So, as you can see, we've got some cells popping up. Now, I don't want my cells to be too big, sort of loose looking and blend into each other too much. I'd prefer them to be separate 
as, well, as separate as possible. So I'm just going to leave that and let it do its thing. What I'm working on are these cards, A3 recycled cardboard. Um, so that's 30 centimetres by 40 centimetres, 12 by 16 inches I think they are. It's a nice weight, it's a 400 gram. Um, and yeah, quite cheap. I was using the painting pads and you just tear a sheet out, but they are really quite expensive and if you're just doing practices, these are fine. What I do is, before I start, I turn it over, I write on the back what I've done, I swipe how much flow troll, how much paint, how much oil I added, what colours I used, and then you pour on that. And once it's dry, you've got your sample, you can store it easily. I've got a whole pile of these, um, and it's, it's really handy just to look back on and say, hey, what did I do right or what did I do wrong? And you can keep those as a reference. Now, how's the cells going? Getting there. Now, I said I'm not going to torch, but I'm only going to torch up here where the paint is thicker, where the white's thicker against the other colour, because it's difficult for the paint to come up to the surface through paint that's a bit thick. So, I'm just going to heat that section to help the cells come up. Coming up, as you can see, just heating up this top section. Quick going over in the middle because I'm impatient. And there we go. See what happens. So this went over very lightly with the torch, and there's a few more coming up here. Over time, these cells will come up on their own. I tend to be too impatient and just torch the whole thing, and then there's just a a massive of cells and it's too much. Not too much for my liking anyway. I don't really like how this has got lots of cells there all stuck together. Could swipe over it but I think I'll ruin it. Just leave it. Once the other cells come up it won't be as noticeable. The neighbours are playing music. I can hear it. I don't know if you can hear it or not. <laughs> Beautiful autumn day today. Sun's shining. Birds are tweeting. I haven't used time lapse on my camera before, so I, I don't really know how to use it. I'm sorry. You will just have to wait. I will post a photo on my um, Australian Acrylic Pouring Group on Facebook and if you go there you'll see the finished painting and I will also obviously upload this video. Okay, another quick torch. beginning of the video I did decrease the coconut milk hair serum from two drops per cup to one drop per cup so that also may be making a difference in how many cells I get I don't want a lot of cells I'm happy just for that many I mean I will get more these ones down here will continue to grow on their own and you can see where I've layered the paints you've got dark paint on the outside and a lighter ring and then a darker bit in the middle. All these different colours inside cells. There's green, there's blue, there's navy. And that's what happens when you layer your paints on top of each other. So it's really pretty. The dark blue is the heaviest so it sort of 
pushed down and the others have come up around it. So you do get really good results from your, your dark blue. That's really pretty there, those three navies with the aqua in the middle. The gold doesn't look very pretty at the moment, kind of a yellowish, brownish colour. Once it's dried though, it's beautiful, it's all sparkly. tearing my little card in half and I'm just going to do that. See how it's changed the colour? I'm just not happy with that little section there. And we'll just torch that bit just to get some cells coming up. But you can see what happens when you when you sort of swipe a section, you can see the difference. And that's what I didn't want up there. It's a practice one, this one, so I'm not terribly fussed. All little cells coming up under here. There wasn't much in the way of paint, on top of paint here, so I've just got blue cells there. So it's really important to have that layering, have the paint run into each other like that, create cells. Okay, well, one last little tiny torch just here, and then I'm going to leave you. So I'm sure you don't want to watch paint dry, as they say. Not getting much more up the top here where the paint's quite thick. Probably could have thinned my white paint just a touch more. Sometimes I make the white paint four to one so that it slides better and, and it's not so thick across the top. So I don't know about the green, I don't know if I like the green so much. Let's see what happens. Okay, I'll leave it there. Um, this is a practice for my big one, my 180 centimetre canvas which takes up this whole table. So I'll be back when I do that one. Bye for now.